Here's a startling fact. Did you know that every second of every day in the United States, an older adult falls? This is the number one cause of death from injury among older Americans. Fall Prevention Awareness Week kicks off this Friday fall. Stephanie Sulzer is here along with our good friend of the show, Richmond podiatrist Dr. Mitchell Waskin is here to talk about prevention. Good morning to you both. Good to see you again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. See you again. All right. I'm an older American and I haven't fallen yet, but uh, <laughs> apparently I'm at risk of this along with a lot of other folks. Well, you're at risk, but probably we'll add a few more years to you before yeah. you uh, yeah. are at great risk. But the numbers are astounding. There are over 30 million people have a fall each year, and 3 million of those people end up in emergency rooms. And of that, about a million end up being admitted to hospitals because of their injuries. And here's the real startling fact. Over 27,000 people every single year die from fall-related injuries. So it's a really significant it's serious, problem. It's serious, yeah. yeah. Um, I always hear about the inner ear problem, and I know that's one of the reasons, but that's not just the only one, is it? There's lots of things, lots no, of No, it's not. It's really, it, it's multifactorial. Um, keeping your balance is um, really a complicated mechanism in our body. It's a combination of your inner ear, your vision, your ability to feel with your feet on, on the ground, your muscle strength, uh, your flexibility. Uh, so it's, uh, there's a lot of factors that, that go into it. Um, one of the things that, that I, I never realized actually how significant this problem was until um, our physical therapist actually brought it to my attention. I started researching it. Um, and then I realized the significant problem. And the other problem that I saw was for years, you know, as a, as, as a doctor, I've been referring people to get balance therapy who had issues. And what I al always noticed is that they would get therapy, they'd get great gains, and then they would be discharged, handed instructions, and go on your way. And three, four months later, they've lost all their gains, they're back falling again, which really is what prompted us to develop this fall prevention program at the Foot and Ankle Center, where not only are we working for them to get better balance, but also to maintain it through a program of continuously monitoring the patients, having the physical therapist contact the patients on a regular basis. In fact, we're even working to hook up with a, a little uh, health gym in order to use their trainers to continue maintaining, helping people maintain the benefits. Let's get Stephanie in here for a second as a uh, physical therapist. Uh, it, it's more and more important all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing if uh, Nana hasn't been active all her life, trying to convince her to be active late in life, it, it, like the doctor said, it's, it's kind of hard to do once they leave your care. You got it. Um, we, we see people all the time that have balance issues and whether they believe it or not, we have to put them through the tests and, and make sure that they go on their way, like he said, with a good program that they're going to keep up with because it's a lifelong issue. You know, uh, I would imagine not only in your business, but in, in your wing of medicine, that that follow through is always important. I mean, making sure the, the patient does what you left them with when they, when they left the office, that's got to be huge. It is huge. And, and well, part of the program is going to be to call patients and talk to them personally and ask them if they have any questions, um, if they need new exercises, if they need new direction, if they need to come back in for another consult. Sometimes people have issues that come up that, that aren't foreseen and they need to come back in. All right, well, let's, let's get to it. And we're gonna do a little demonstration here and, and you're gonna help and, and am I gonna do this? Yes, you are. I, I, yep, I knew I was the guinea pig. <laughs> right. All right, so I let's, let's give, it a, <laughs> give it a try. What are we gonna do? The first thing I'm gonna do is put this gate belt on you and this is purely for safety. So I'm gonna get you to hold that in okay. the front. All right. We'll put this around in the back and just make it nice and snug. So this is, like I said, just purely for safety. All right. In case you in fall case. Yeah. or go to fall, well. I can catch you. All right. All right, so the first thing I'm going to have you do is just balance on one leg. Balance, uh, do I get a choice? You get a choice. And, and I keep my shoes on for you this? Can keep your shoes okay, on. Okay, so I'm going to balance, since I'm right handed, I'll do Good. my leg. Okay. So people in their 50s can typically balance about 37 seconds. That number drops all the way down to about six seconds I'm in getting your getting a little 80s. wobbly here. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Okay. You're doing a good job. Okay, okay. you can stop. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to have you do is the exact same thing you just did, but this time with your eyes closed. This is going to be a oh, lot harder. Oh, this is where the strap comes in. <laughs> with my eyes closed? With your eyes closed. Seriously? Okay. You'll notice this is a lot harder because with your vision obscured, yeah. 
you have to rely on your proprioceptive system yeah, and yeah, that's not your vestibular well. system <laughs> yeah. to keep you upright. Okay, you can stop. Okay. Good job. Cool. All right, now the last thing I'm going to have you do is just balance on this foam pad right here. It's nice and squishy. Keep okay. your eyes open for this one. Okay. And, and one leg again? One leg. Okay. So this is, oh, so I can see this is going to be a lot harder because it's not bound. You yeah. got it. Yeah. So, so you're this. holding me up, basically. I'm not doing well at all. So obviously, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought, oh, well, I can stand it. Yeah. But I, yeah. People who are active, people who are not active, everybody has balance issues. Do you see a situation where if in a house you have a hardwood floor that transfers to a carpet or something like that, like the change in texture that I had here, is mm -hmm. that a problem? It's a big problem and that's another thing that we, that we will address with the balance program. So um, environmental factors in your home, behavioral risk factors like the fear of falling, things like footwear and assistive devices you might be using, nutrition, water intake. All of those things factor into balance and whether you're going to stay upright or be on the ground. All right. I want to go into a country song. Please help me. I'm fall. For more information on the Foot and Ankle Center's Fall Prevention and Balance Therapy Program, it's not as easy as it looked, although it looked pretty hard, we'll post a link on our show website by early this afternoon, wtvr.com slash vtm.